Hi everyone, and welcome to the first video in my Chobit series. Chobit is my two and a half year old filly, and she is my potential reigning show horse. So I'm going to take you through day one right now, which is round penning, and I'm just going to show you how I do it. I'm going to start off with her in the middle of the round pen, and I do not have a lead line on her. I'm just going to go over her a little bit with the whip and do some desensitizing before I send her off. When I want to send her, I'm going to step back out of her way, point where I want her to go, and drive with that whip. And throughout this video, you're going to notice that I'm going to be pointing and whipping a lot. That's because I'm asking her to maintain a lope. Um, I want to give her a good steady pace. And if she doesn't immediately respond to that, I'm just going to continue that pressure whipping and pointing until she does go into the lope and continue to carry it. Right here I've asked her to change directions, but she changed directions by pointing her ass into me, which is not a respectful or acceptable way of doing that. So I applied more pressure and just kind of whipped her and then made her go the other way. And as you can see, she did give me two eyes when she reversed that direction, so I didn't put any pressure on it when she did turn. And again, I stepped in front, I asked her to change directions, and she did, so there was no added pressure. The added pressure here is coming from the fact that she broke gate, and I want her to maintain loping. Now, you'll notice that she's doing subtle things to let me know that she's being slightly disrespectful. And those things include the bouncing around, the head tossing, the sort of catty irritated movements that she's doing and those are just kind of things that you'll pick up on your horse in particular after getting to know them. So I want to make sure that when I stop round penning her, that when I do finally ask her to come in and take a rest, that she's not exhibiting any of those behaviors like she is right there when I ask her to change directions. I'm looking for her to be carrying herself confidently, calmly, and to be listening to me. That was a really good move right there. She changed directions, she was listening, she was being very respectful about it, not tossing her head or being belligerent. Again, that was a very nice, fluid change of direction, very respectful. So I went ahead and called her in, and I do this by just kind of relaxing, going almost hip shot, and sort of pointing my shoulder into her. Now I asked her to come into me and she didn't want to, so I sent her off again. And again, pressure until she lopes. And there I called her in again. I just sort of stepped in front and put that shoulder in. You can see my body posture is very relaxed. I was even hip shot for a moment. She's still reluctant to walk into the center to rest, so I'm going to go after her. And I'm going to give just a little bit of movement to get her unstuck with that whip and then bring her in with my shoulder and let her rest. I want to teach her that resting in the center of the round pen is the place where she's going to get a break from doing any work. And I'm just going to take this time to desensitize her and sort of rub her with the whip and show her that it's not all bad. It doesn't just make her move. It also pets her. So... She doesn't have to be overly sensitive about the things that I'm asking. Now she's reluctant to allow me to go on the other side. I kind of fuss with her for a minute there before I just sort of strongly push her off. And I'm just kind of asking her to get out of my way, get out of my space. She takes a bit of offense to it and wants to move off, so I go ahead and push her off. And she even kind of wants to scotch on what direction I told her to go, and I just correct that pretty simply too. Nothing major, nothing over the top, I just stay calm about it, but very firm in what I'm asking her to do. And stop her and bring her in again. I didn't want her to move off in the first place. I simply wanted her to stop shoving into me when I was on the other side. So I don't round pen her too much again. I just round pen her a little bit and then ask her to come right back in again. 
so that I can continue desensitizing just like I was when she decided to leave. So I go right back into it. She's still kind of pushing on me a little bit right there, so I just kind of get all the way at her shoulder so she's not really capable of getting me away from that side of her. And I don't pick on her too much, but I do make sure that I get all the way to that other shoulder. And just continue desensitizing her a little bit. So that was perfect. I'm not going to do a whole lot with her for day one, but that is my basic groundwork routine and how to round pen a horse. It's not super thorough. I'm sure you can find more informational videos online, but just for the sake of working with her, I thought this would be interesting to post the day one progress. So look forward to more videos to come, and thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. I can't wait to post more of working with this amazing filly.